If you're an Azure front door customer, or maybe even if you're not, you may have seen this update published on the Azure Updates website recently, a few days ago, about something called domain fronting. You should stop fronting. So let's explain what it is, a bit of the history here. Let me show you the impact of it and how it's been fixed on newly deployed front doors and maybe what you can do about that if you're on an old Azure front door. So firstly, this is the blog post. I'll link it below. Domain fronting is the idea where you can conceal your actual HTTP get inside of a envelope wrapped in a different HTTPS packet. So imagine this scenario here where I've got a client user and it's going through a internet egress firewall. This internet egress firewall is allowing traffic to the URL gbbdomain.com. So if you're layer four firewall in this example, doing outbound filtering. For example, it's an Azure firewall with standard SKU and it's doing FQDN filtering inside of application rules. It's going to use the unencrypted portion of the initial TLS connect packet and it's going to grab the SNI string, which is unencrypted. And in this example, it would have the gbbdomain.com inside of that string. And that's what the firewall would filter on to allow or deny that request. Okay, so that request goes out, goes to Azure front door destined for the endpoint that is gbbdomain.com. And what you would expect to receive back is, well, whatever you've configured behind gbbdomain.com. As I'll show you in a second, I've just got a simple website pointing to hello world. But it turns out what you can do is if you know the endpoint address of another service, behind the same content delivery provider, then the old behavior on Azure is that you could specify a different HTTP get inside of that HTTPS wrapper. So in this example, I can post from this client a outbound connection that ultimately goes here and does the TLS handshake, goes back to my client, but then the actual client inside of the request makes a get with a HTTP header of this endpoint, ebbafd.azurefd.net, which let's suppose that's a site which you shouldn't be able to access. So behind that, I've got a bad website or a red website. I'll demonstrate this in a little bit, but fundamentally domain fronting is this, it's masking your actual request inside of what otherwise is a healthy request and can be used to circumnavigate uh, censorship, some, um, applications in the past have used this as part of their strategic technology, but you can also use it to bypass certain firewalls and content delivery providers across the industry are making a, a overall concerted effort to stop this behavior. Okay. So now we know what it is. Uh, the announcement from Microsoft recently was that all new front doors made after the 8th of November will have domain fronting protection turned on, which will mean your own instance, so the gbbdomain.com instance in this example, wouldn't allow you to insert uh, an otherwise nefarious HTTP request inside of this header. Another way of saying that is when you make a request upon front door, the HTTP header and the host name provided in the SNI string must match for that request to be processed. And again, we'll, we'll demonstrate this in a second. This is on top of an older stipulation that Microsoft made back in April, where we said, if you do have an instance of front door and you want domain fronting turned on, raise a support ticket and we can go ahead and enable that for you. Effectively, the announcement in the past week is going one step further in saying, that's turned on by default now. Okay, let's bring in my client and demonstrate this in action. So here I've got a client, it's sat behind an Azure firewall, standard SKU, and my Azure firewall rule base effectively says, allow traffic to this domain, but doesn't have any rule allowing traffic to this domain. So if I do a simple curl to the ubbdomain.com, you see I get back that hello world website. Whereas if I do a curl to the GPB AFD domain, which is the top one here, I cannot access that website. My firewall is not allowing the traffic in an application rule. 
if that was working, what I would get back is a text file saying I'm the red website. However, as an example of domain fronting, if I pass this command here, so again, it's a curl. I'm doing hyphen K to allow certificate mismatches not to impact my testing here. And I'm going to do some manipulation to the packet that I post in. So dash H, I'm going to specify the header as this red website that my firewall is not allowing. But my actual connection is going to be to the domain that I do allow. If I pass that through, you can see I do get back a healthy HTTP 200 and I can see the contents of that website. I am the red website there. That's an example of circumnavigating an egress firewall using domain fronting. And this is an example of that domain fronting behavior being allowed by an old Azure front door instance. And this is that instance in the portal that I've configured. You can see here it's a Azure front door classic. This was created a couple of years ago and therefore is exposed to this security risk that we've just demonstrated. Okay, so how would I stop this from happening? If I own the green website, how would I stop my website being used for domain fronting? Deploy a new Azure front door and that won't be exposed to it. I've gone ahead and done that. I've deployed here a new Azure front door, which I deployed today. This should have protection against the domain front in, and we can show that as well. We see here in the front door config, this is my endpoint for my new front door. If I go back to my client now, I'm back on my client, let's post the same curl command we used earlier. So I'm going to pass through in the host header, this bad website I'm trying to access, which my firewall is not allowing but I'm going to establish a HTTPS connection via the new front door website. And we can see the behavior here is different. So I get back an error from front door. I don't get back the red website. And we see here that the response is HTTP 421. And if we look inside of the Azure front door frequently asked questions page, we will see down the bottom here when front door blocks a request due to this mismatch, the client will get a HTTP 41, which is misdirected request. And if I was to inspect the front door logs, I would see that with this particular string. So let's just replay back what happened there. My client user established a initial HTTPS connection to this new front door endpoint that I provisioned recently. The HTTPS connection was set up and the SNI string matched the outbound rule I've got configured here. I then inside of that TLS connection posted a HTTP GET for this FQDN here that's not allowed by my firewall, but that request was blocked and I got back that HTTP 421 misdirect error because this front door is not allowing connections where the HTTPS SNI string doesn't match the internal HTTP header information. Anyway, to wrap up, I hope you found the video useful. If you were wondering what domain fronting was, hopefully this has offered a tangible demonstration of that using Azure tooling, Azure firewall, Azure front door, etc. If you are an Azure front door customer or thinking about becoming one, then hopefully this gives you an idea now of the behavior of existing front doors and of new Azure front door instances. If you want to go deeper, check out the links in the blog below. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.